The battery you see charging is my DIY 18 volt battery pack for my DeWalt cordless drill. The pack has recently been recharging with a lot less power and capacity, so I'll soon be replacing the cells in the pack with new ones. While I'm currently not able to do any high power drilling, I'm going to try something that could give my drill back its full power, as well as serve as a good plan B for powering my cordless drill. I'll be right back to show you my plan B next. My DIY battery pack lasted about two and a half years, which is an okay amount of time, but I felt I'd like to extend that time by minimizing its use when I don't really have to use it. I have here an 18 volt laptop power adapter that outputs the proper voltage and amps necessary for my cordless drill. What I plan to do is take the end that normally plugs into the laptop to power it and replace the barrel connector with a Tamiya connector. For this build, I was lucky because I had a spare laptop power adapter and I have lots of Tamiya connectors for electrical projects. Once the laptop adapter is outfitted with the Tamiya connector, I can then plug it into the drill by using the top section of my DIY 18 volt battery. To use it, I disconnect the battery pack by disconnecting the Tamiya connector, then plug in the laptop adapter's Tamiya connector. There aren't that many parts that make up this build. The power adapter, a Tamiya connector, and also some heat shrink tubing to cover the soldered wires. There's been a slight change of plans. In some preliminary testing I did with the 18.5 volt power adapter, I found that it can barely power the drill. I'm not sure if this is due to low amperage, but I'll have to test a different adapter with a higher amperage rating to see how that goes. Okay, false alarm. I think I've got it now. I don't know why the drill wasn't powering correctly. It's still doing the same thing, but I've found a workaround to get the power adapter to power the drill properly. What I found was I need to pull on the trigger gradually rather than all at once. It seems like the sudden power draw all at once causes the adapter to cut the power off. If I instead pull the trigger slowly, the ramp up in power draw works a lot more reliably. Also, after doing some research on laptop power adapters and what the three wires are for, I found that these adapters are a lot more complicated than just having negative and positive leads to power your devices. The barrel I'm holding in my hand is the end that was cut off from where the alligator clips are connected. Black wire is the outside circumference of the barrel, white is the inner circumference, and blue is the pin in the center inside the barrel. The white is the power and black is the ground, but the blue is something I didn't quite understand. It had something to do with sensing under or over voltage, but I'm not sure what else it does beyond that. Also, I think the voltage of the adapter being 18.5 volts, while the cordless drill is an 18 volt model, really helped with this setup to even work. I've completed soldering the Tamiya connector to the power adapter's white and black wires. The blue one isn't necessary from what I can tell, so I covered it in shrink tubing and left it available in case I find I need it later. On the left of the drill is my new electrical outlet powered connection for my cordless drill and on the right is my good old 8 amp hour battery pack. If I need to use either power source, it's just as easy to set up the drill for battery operation as it is for electrical outlet operation. All I need to do is connect either power source to the drill's Tamiya connector. When listening to the sound of the motor running from each power source, the drill motor sounds like it has a higher pitch when running from the electrical outlet. I'm not sure what that means, but I'll do more testing in the future. This power adapter power source is something I've been working on for the past 9 months. I could not get it to work for quite a while and had given up for a short time so I could clear my head by working on other projects. I finally decided to give it another go and I'm glad I did. This is probably my dream cordless drill with some very unique accessories I've created over the years. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. That's all I have for now and I'll catch you in the next video.